Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to learn how to calculate the distance in analytical geometry. The standard concept is to start by marking your x1, y1, x2, y2. Then we're going to substitute and we're going to solve. Now what you must remember is that they're not always going to give you the x1, y1, x2, y2. They can give you anything in the formula. So if our formula is d is equal to x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared, then they can give me from the five unknowns, they can give me anything. And the whole concept is based on substitution and you solve for whatever you don't have. Right, let's take the following example. Right, the distance between minus 7 and y and minus 1 and 3 is 10 units. Calculate y. Now, we're going to start by marking our x1, y1, x2, y2. Then, we're writing our formula down and substituting all the information that we have. So we're going to say our distance is given to us, it's 10, is equal to, we have x2 as minus 1, minus, minus 7, all squared, plus 3, minus y, all squared. Now at this point, you must be careful with your algebra. To get rid of a root, we're going to square. And what we do on one side, we're going to do on the other side. So I'm going to square the 10, which gives us 100 is equal to. Now, minus 1 plus 7 all squared plus 3 minus y all squared. Minus 1 plus 7 is 6. 6 all squared is 36. Plus open brackets 3 minus y all squared. I'm going to take my 36 I'm going to take my 36 over so it becomes negative 36 giving me 64 is equal to 3 minus y all squared. Now to get rid of a square you're going to root side. Remember maths is all about opposites so if it's a square I'm going to square root we now have 3 minus y is equal to 8. Now why am I taking positive 8 and not negative 8? Whereas in, in previous videos I had always said that the root is a plus or minus. The reason for this is because it is distance. And when we are working with the distance, then we always have a positive answer. Right, so we have minus y is equal to 8 minus 3. I'm taking the 3 over, so I have 5 is equal to minus y, which would make y is equal to negative 5. Remember, when I'm working with distance, you would get a positive from your root. That does not mean that your answer has to be positive. Your answer can be positive or negative. Thank you for watching.